Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a huge, exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is brand new. If you wanna keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you're gonna see what is new and what to look out for. I'm always pretty good about linking those down below so it's easier for you to find. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link those down below. Also, a lot of you have asked if you could see what my family looks like and really haven't really recorded my entire family except one time. And I think that was at um, Thanksgiving back in 2017, 2018. I will link that video down below and I will put um, probably right here about what time in the video you'll start seeing um, all my kids, my husband, my mom, my brothers, my nieces, my nephews, You'll see it all. So I will um, put that video down below if you want to check out to see what my family looks like. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased. I thought these were cute. Now I don't have a laundry room, which I wish I did because my laundry is in this hallway over that way. You can do other things with these. So don't think just because you buy something that looks like this, you have to keep it that way. But this says wash and dry, open 24 hours. These are about 17 inches long. They have three clips. And the other one is laundry, wash, dry, fold, laundry room, I should say. But these kind of look like maybe a surfboard. Flip it around, do a summer theme on there. You can probably even turn this into a gnome, like do the hat right up here and put the nose and the body or whatever. Um, you could probably even cut this and kind of round off the sides and do a bunny or something. You could put a couple of them together. You can do a fence of some sort. So yeah, laundry, oh, you know, we always have laundry. I mean, every day. If I do not do at least one load a day, <clears throat> uh, just takes forever. Okay. Crafter Square has some new iron-on transfers. I believe they have five or six of them. I picked up three. This one right here is my favorite one. This one says Adventure Awaits. I absolutely love the colors. Now on the back, it does show you how to apply it to a shirt, but I'm sure you can probably put it on other things. I have not read it yet. Um, but yeah, they had this one. And this one says, keep looking up. There may be a rainbow waiting for you thought that one was really cute. Love the colors. And then the other one is, but first coffee. Yes, I have to have my six ounce cup of coffee every morning. And that's all I drink. If I try to drink two, mm -mm, I was bouncing off the walls. I limit myself to one. Uh, Star Wars, for all those Star Wars fans, if you're able to find this, this is a huge score. This is Disney Hasbro. Retails for about 12 bucks right now at the stores or on eBay or whatever. This is a Bring the Ballot Galaxy to Life. It's a Force Link 2.0 starter set. Um, you will need three AAA batteries. It's ages four and up. And it comes with um, Han Solo figurine. So yeah, for $1, I did buy two of them. I am not gonna open it up because I like to donate toys around Christmas time for Toys for Tots. So when I can find stuff like this, um, I keep track of it all in a box. And then at Christmas time, I go to one of my stores and donate it all um, for Toys for Tots. So if you like to do that, then always keep your eye out. Buy a couple of extra here and there of items like this because I know so many kids would really appreciate it. So great deal for a dollar. And this, how many of you grew up with Hello Kitty? Back in the 80s here in Fort Wayne at Glenbrook Mall, they had a store right up by the ice rink and it was called Little Whiskers. Everything was Hello Kitty and the other little critters that come with Little Kitty. Or It was just an amazing store. I always spent my allowance there all the time. But Hot Wheel has a Hello Kitty bus. How? Oh my gosh. I just, oh my gosh. And look at the top. Hello Kitty. Now I'm sure they probably had a bunch of them, but this is the only one I, I noticed right away up front. I only needed one anyway. But 
if you are someone that loves stuff like this and if you have the time go through their hot wheel cars because i have been able to find so many amazing like candy vehicles um different company names on them and i'm sure one day those might be worth something but when i found the hello kitty i'm like yes you're coming home with me just cute this was very interesting. These are hanging on the plastic strip down by the um, storage containers. This is a drink mate phone flask. Yes, you heard me correct. A flask in the shape of a phone. It holds 3.5 ounce of whatever liquid you want to put in there. Now, I picked up this one as well and I wanted to open it and show you. So the paper comes right off. So you have a blank canvas. Now you can always do different things with this. You can uh, mod podge pictures on there, do a saying, draw, whatever, add rhinestones, whatever you wanna do. Now the way that you put a liquid in there, you see these two little push thingies, you just push them up. Oh, woo. But you have to be very talented to be able to get liquid in that teeny tiny hole. I mean, if you are having a wedding or whatever and you want to get the bridal party something, I mean, you can get one of these and do a saying on there or a picture or something. And then just to put it back down, there you go. Very interesting. Okay, I got to fix my leg. It's falling asleep. Wake up, leg. I thought this was very interesting. I never even heard of this, but when I showed you in my video the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree, a lot of you said, yeah, I use that, and they're amazing, if you, and you've been using it for months. These are shampoo bars. Never heard of these before. They are by Body and Earth, Volumizing Formula with Seaweed Astract and Sea Salt, Travel Tin Included. This one is Ocean Waves, last up to 50 washes it is a 1.76 ounce they had three different ones i picked up that one and this one i'm gonna go ahead and open one because i am very curious now i wash my hair once twice a week a lot of times i just have my hair up and they bun oh this one's actually kind of good it's a cute oh cute tin. So there's the tin and it says body and earth. Now these would be really cute to do up a basket for Easter or for a bridal shower or even a baby shower and pamper the mom to be and put stuff like this in there. Oh my gosh. Wow. That smells good. I don't even have the plastic off of it and that really smells good. If you have used these, I know quite a few did comment and said that you love them, but if you have tried these, comment down below and let me know how you like them. Wow, that, you know what? I need to open up the other one. I have to. I have to smell it because I'm a smell freak. Ooh. Oh, wow. That one's amazing. Oh my gosh, I don't know what one I want. Oh, I should have bought the other one if I knew it. The other one was more of a citrus one. Oh, I'm definitely going to look for that one. Oh my gosh, I am like, I have goose ones that smell so good. That is crazy. Wow. But I just, does it lather? I don't know. I spent a lot of time on this, but you guys, these smell amazing. And I always give my honest opinion if I like the smell or the texture or if I've tried it or whatever, I'm always honest. And so far, these smell amazing. Yes. Very impressed with those. Okay, I gotta move on. I spent too much time. Oh my gosh, you just smell so good. Lather between wet hands or directly onto hair. Massage into hair and rinse clean. Voila. Interesting. I just spent what? An hour talking about shampoo bars. But I'm just fascinated with that. Looking here for those that like to do DIYs and you can't find any wooden beads, so you have to go to uh, Michael's or Joann's or Hobby Lobby and spend a bunch of money. Although these are different colors, but these are wooden beads and you can paint them. I'm already in the process of painting some white. You get 125 different size 
wooden beads. Now these are based like with some kind of oil or something. So it does take a couple of coats of paint, but you know what? For a dollar and you get 125 of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By Crafter Square, ages five and up. I still wouldn't even give it to a kid five and up because those are some itty tiny pots in there. All right. They brought these back and they have new colors and textures by Crafter Square. You get 200, is it grams? I'm not sure, of paper packs. What? This is a huge pack of different paper. Now, last year I hauled a couple of different ones and I am just fascinated on all the different colors and shapes and textures. I mean, look at this one. Ew. Okay, I need to I, I need to chase that with a, a shampoo bar. That smells like old person home. God, I smell it through the tin. Yeah, that definitely smells like an old person home. But that and the way the, the way I say that is because it just reminds me of my grandma's house. That's why I say that. Because she had she had this musty, just a musty scent to her house for some odd reason. But look at that textured paper. And you get different sizes. You have glittery paper. Um, let's see what else do you have in here. Oh, this. That's really thin. That's really cool. Ooh, that would actually smell like leather. That smells like leather. Is it leather? No, it's not. But look at the texture, you guys. Look how cool that is. You know what? Where's my flask? Although I would not use that color, but that's something you can Mod Podge on there and do some here. Let's find a different color. Hello. I mean, look how cool that is. Huh. Bring in this. Come here, laundry board. I don't know. Just different things. But yeah, I'm always impressed with all this paper that you get. And you get, I mean, this is like heavy duty paper. And oh my gosh, the smell of this one is just, oh, grandma. Playing flashbacks, although I don't have any grandparents anymore, but that just reminds me of my grandma's house. For a dollar for all that paper. Yes, this was a dollar. They had it in different colors. This is by Jot. Uh, glitter paper, do it yourself projects. And you get three sheets. I didn't realize you get three until I was in the checkout lane. And oh my gosh, I just cut my finger. So you get three pieces. I don't know why I thought you only got one, but then I'm like, oh, they had it pink and purple and green, red, and this blue, which I really like this blue. So that is why I picked it up. It was my dad's favorite color. Oh, and I know I've said this a hundred times, but I know I get new people all the time. When you see um, Hi Dad, I always put it in the right upper hand corner when I record the sky or when I'm driving or anything. You will always see hi dad pop up. I lost my dad on the November 5th of 2014. So every every day I always look up and when I look at the sky, I always say hi dad. So that's why you see that. I'm not actually saying hi dad because he's watching my videos. Although he could be in this room somewhere watching because I have um, orbs all the time. A lot of you always point them out. I have them, I have them a lot here in this house. So Yes, I just want to throw that in there because I know I get a lot of comments on that. But look, very thin though. Very thin. Nothing like of this paper, but anyway, it's sparkly. All right, moving on. Here by Essentials. This is a mask container. Not huge. I won't carry, you know, hold too many of them. So I'm like, yeah, that's cool. If I bought a couple of them, I got thinking, I'm like, I honestly don't know if I would use it for that. So right now I should have brought it in with me. But you know those um, rub-ons that you can get at the Dollar Tree? I have a bunch of them cut out and I put them in this. And it's flat. So you can have, put stickers in here. You can do all different kinds of, I mean, it's very thin. But yeah, just think outside the box. You can even color pictures on here, or do something cute, put bracelets in there. Um, I don't know if these bracelets would fit. I wear a lot of this kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. And I know one of you pointed this out to me a few weeks ago. Hey, keeping heads up or eye out. So thank you um, for always, you know, a lot of you have said, you know, look out for these gnomes or this and that. I just love your guys' um, hints and tips on things. So always be sure you comment down below. 
you know, if you found other things that I, you haven't seen me haul yet or show in my Dollar Tree videos or, you know, if you have DIY ideas, just comment down below and you can be helping out a lot of people because a lot of people do read the comments. These I'm going to send to my mother-in-law. She lives there in Texas. These are prayer cards. They have two different sets and you get 20 per set. Um, there's the one pack. And then on the back, that's what they look like. And then they have that one. And these are by Crown Jewel. Let me see without tearing the box, because I really don't want to tear anything up. Okay, I think I can get it. Okay, so I'm going to show you on what they look like. So on the front, it says today's prayer. And then on the back, is a prayer. Uh, see, the Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. So yeah, and they come with all different ones, 20 of them, that is. So I thought those were really cute. And I had bought her a um, notepad as well from Crown Jewel that has a um, phrase on the front from the Bible. So I'm gonna send this stuff to her very soon. And I have found those in two different spots, up by the register, and a lot of dollars have that glass round display thing. I found those on there as well. Tie-dye. You probably noticed a lot of tie-dye items at the Dollar Tree recently, and I absolutely love it. I went ahead and picked up the two head wraps of tie-dye. Um, I don't wear these, but my girls do. But tie-dye, I'm like, yes. And there are two different colors, and they're really soft, too. Let's see, let's try to demonstrate it on what it would look like. And they're not really tight either, so that's that's nice. So that's what it looks like, not bad. And it's not gonna hurt your temp, tem or those temples, or those things, that's what it's called. Can't wear anything tight. Um, hard candy, I was able to find a couple more items from hard candy. This is Perfecting Primer, Sheer Envy, minimizes lines and pores for a smooth finish. Definitely need those. And this is uh, 1.6 ounce. That is what it looks like. Now I'm going to open it, it's probably it's got a seal, yeah. Let's see what it smells like. I've never used a primer before. I have, I have a lot of peach fuzz. peach fuzz. I'm afraid if I like shave it off or whatever, it's going to come back black and I'm going to have a beard. Paranoid. Okay, so that is what, if you can see it with my finger. Hmm. Not too bad of a scent. I mean, I don't know if I want that scent, but it's pretty soft. Hmm. I don't know, I might just have to break out of my comfort zone and just try it. I'm more paranoid to try different things. I just like to be, I don't know. I can't even think of the word about it to use. But anyway, that smells pretty good. And then the other item they had was a 360 volume um, evenly coats, curls, lifts, defines, lashes. This is the only color they had, which I didn't even look to see what color it is. Does it even say what color it is? Hmm. It doesn't. It just says a bold. Be bold. Oh, here we go. Oh, fudge. That's the color. Oh, fudge. So that must be, it's brown. Now, a lot of you said people with blue eyes, which I do, should wear brown mascara. I've always wore black, but I figured, you know what, for a buck, I could try it. Maybe. Oh, it comes with a little wand thing, too. Oh, I see. Packages. Okay, so there it is. There's the little wand. Okay, we are going to insert. Oop. Get it in there, pull it out. Oh, Ooh. that's very chalky like. See that? I don't know. We'll try it out for a buck. Can't beat it. 
All right, moving on. These are some beautiful pictures. I'm going to make these up for my daughter. I'm doing different things with these. Uh, I'm still looking for a few others, but I'm just loving the flowers. This one says, be humble. Again, I am not crazy on the frame, so I will be painting them. And if I end up not using the frame and not painting them, I will be using them on other things. But they have that one. This one's blue and green. And then these leaves, I thought they're cool. And this one says, you pick fresh lavender. Cute. Now see, I like the color of this frame. So I'll definitely leave that one alone. But this one, mm, this is my favorite one. And when I was setting my stuff up, it broke. That's the only bad thing about pictures from the Dollar Tree. The glass breaks very easily. And even the frame broke. Oh, this is my favorite one. It has a eucalyptus. But look how beautiful that is. Not that. Oh. No, it's falling apart. But yeah, you can find really cute pictures at the Dollar Tree. They have some new classic rugs. Most like, you know, they just took big things of carpet and cut them. But this thing was huge. A lot bigger than what they normally carry and a lot thicker. What? Look at that. Can you see how thick that is? Now, if you have a camper, an RV, this will be perfect to put by the door or whatever. So it's easy to take in and out. It's thick, it's soft, it's, what is it, is it Berber? I think it's like Berber carpet, I'm not sure, but it's an 18 by 24. Yeah, they have different colors, they have just different textures. Yeah, that thing is heavy a duty. All right, a few other items. They have some new vases, vases, I don't know how you wanna say it, but they also have this in pink. I just picked it up and this color and this, I'm gonna be painting them trying to do something different, but I thought these were cute enough. They're fluffy. Now, to give you a rough estimate on how tall these are, they are five inches by three and a half. So, if you like these, keep an eye out. Again, they do have pink as well. Uh, I picked up one roll of this lace ribbon. You get nine feet by Floral Garden. Now, I think they had a couple of different, uh, I don't want to say designs, but pattern, I guess, I want to say. Just remind me of doilies for some reason. Oh, I forgot to bring something over here. Hey, Alex. Can you go in the playroom right there or the computer room? And there's a hat, a sun hat. I think right on the, yeah. Give me that here. Got to show you this but this is what it looks like so that'd be cute to put around a border or something and then they have some really cute sun hats they have it in a dark brown this color in black it does come with a very thin sheer ribbon which you can take off right away it is by is it junk juncture I'm not sure but this is how it looks so this these these this size is an adult size. They even have like little kid size as well. But look how cute that is. Oh, I think it's really cute. I don't know if I'll leave that on there. But if you're going to the beach or doing some gardening or just sitting around the pool, which we have a pool and I, I never go in the pool really. I can count on one hand how many times I've been in my pool in the past 10 years. But yeah, these are really cute for a buck. Can't go wrong. So if it blows away and you can't get it, well, you're just out of a dollar. Um... I was happy to find these because this is what my two of my daughters have been fighting over were these big hair clips. Now they have these exact same ones right now at Target and they're $5.99. $5.99 for this. Go to the Dollar Tree for a dollar. These are the really big clips because they like to just pin their hair in the back, you know, these clips. And I'm like, I am not going to spend no $6 for hair clips. Let me see if I can demonstrate. Maybe. I don't think I can. I've never used these really, so I have no idea how you do it. Oh, so I'm going to try to demonstrate kind of Jenny style. Yeah, see, I got a little swoosh going on. Oh, 
looks really weird. It kind of looks like a big earring, doesn't it? But it does grip your hair really good when you know how to actually use them. And then they also had a six pack of the Good Eclipse. And they're black and brown, medium claw clip. That's what they're called. And you get six of them for a dollar and their name brand. Amazing. I buy one of these just about every year. Uh, my son likes using these. These are ages eight and up. These are butterfly nets with a bamboo handle. They do come in multiple colors. They do hold up fairly well if you take care of the handle especially. But they, um, my two little ones, they would, you know, we'll take them to the pond or whatever. They'll catch um, frogs, toads, butterflies, moths, you know, whatever. Pretty good size. Now the other ones they have are the ones that, um, you know, compact which I really like those. I bought a couple of those as well. I don't know if I showed you guys. I don't know if I did or not. I don't think so. But anyway, these are really cute. Uh, I picked up two of these. I took the stickers off. Don't know why. But these um, are by Jot. They are little containers that you can put like receipts or recipes or coupons, whatever. And you can label them. I don't know if it, yeah, they do. They come with little um, sticky tabs that go on here. They do expand. So um, I like to keep track of my receipts. So I will label these, you know, say like Dollar Tree, gas, post office, Costco, Target, whatever. And then you'll have everything in one container. If you go to, oh, I need to take back the shirt. Oh, well, just go into your Target section and look for your receipt. And I also bought it in green. They do come in other colors, but these are the two that I chose. This, I think it was a great deal. Name brand, once again, these are Captain Crunch snack pouches. You get eight of them and they are 0.81 ounce. So they had the regular ones, which I think my son is the one that, no. Yeah, my son, I think it likes this one and my daughter likes this one. So these are the two that they had. Is that right? Do you like this one? This one? Okay, switch around. Alex likes this one and Ava likes this one. Perfect snacks to, you know, when you're walking out the door to catch the bus or going to a friend's house or just going to go outside and hang, pack some up for the beach or whatever. There you go. For only a dollar. These are big boxes. Oh, and they also looks like they, yeah, there you go. That's how you rip it open. For a dollar? Yeah. And the last non-exciting item I picked up is this by Wet n Wild. It is a brow lash comb. Now, I've never brushed my eyelashes, but I do my what's left of my eyebrows. So I picked up that. I've been using the same one for a very, very long time. And I think my daughter took it and I've never seen it again. Shocking. So let's I'm gonna have to wipe that off my hand. It's bugging me. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, it's gonna work just fine. So that's what I bought. So that, my subby friends, is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you enjoyed this video, I'd really love a thumbs up. Be sure you comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was that I hauled. Also, be sure you give it a thumbs up because all of the thumb up, thumbs up, the views, the likes, all that does add up and makes my channel grow so i really do appreciate your time that you always take out of your day to stop and watch my videos so i hope you all have a wonderful beautiful safe day and i will see you in my next video bye guys keep smiling